Hi guys and welcome back to another video, into a video I never expected to film. You join me this evening here at a hotel near Chichester to check out some incredible Paganis that are sat outside just over there. This should be amazing. So have a look at this lineup. It's absolutely incredible. 10 Paganis sat here outside the hotel, something I never in my life thought I'd see, but I thought I may as well take you through the lineup and then you can decide which one is your favourite. So starting off with this one, Huayra BC, one of the newest cars from Pagani, this one being the King Tasma. This coming all the way from Connecticut in America here to Chichester for Goodwood Festival of Speed. Of course taking part in the Pagani Reduno, as you can see by the little hashtag there, which took place in Italy this year, driving some incredible roads in some amazing heat. We've also had that sort of heat here in the UK for Festival of Speed. I am very burnt up, but I definitely don't care about that stood in front of these incredible cars. As you can see, the amazing Tricolore stripe running across the bonnet and then also on the wing mirrors. Very cool, the Huayra BC being renowned for its massive wing and this one as well, featuring some very cool blue tips on the exhaust. Of course, this being the Pagani Huayra BC King Tasma with the plate to match. Next to that, an amazing full carbon Zonda F Roadster. I think the Roadsters are amazing. I love the idea of having this car and being able to put the roof down as well. The full carbon looks absolutely phenomenal with as well some very cool red accents on the lights matching through to the interior. Then we've got Zonda Oliver, one of the UK's most famous Pagani Zondas. This is actually named after and supposedly owned by a young lad. Now this is a Zonda 760 and one of the most extreme ones I have ever seen. Actually owned by the owner of Pagani UK so he has gone full out of this car. As you can see on the wing there, the Zonda Oliver Evolution. This has wings upon wings. Have a look at that back end. There isn't much better out there. And as you can see, this car also took part in the Reduno this year. Amazing to see these cars all together. Also featuring the Tricolore stripes down the bonnet. Then we've got a Huara BC. Now, if you've been watching the daily vlogs, you'll know this car pretty well, as this is the car that I was following all the way to Goodwood. I'm actually a very big fan of this spec. The carbon bonnet contrasting against the grey carbon looks very cool. And you'll notice as well the Argentinian stripe going all the way across the car because the owner is actually from Argentina, as you can see there on the side. Now, this is a very cool touch. I mean, personally, I would definitely do that on my car. If I had one of these, I'd be very proud to put my name on it. And the Pagani sticker on the wing as well looks absolutely awesome. With the contrasting gold rims, I think this is definitely one of the best spec Huayra BCs I've ever seen. And then next to that, Zonda S. Now this is a very classy sort of car. The C12 really brings sort of the original look to the Paganis. As you can see, along the line, there are some very much more extreme versions of the Zonda. So it is quite refreshing to see this in its sort of original form next to another Zonda F. This is very nice in the white, with the white interior, with some little red accents inside as well. Very classy, looking very nice. And then next to that, probably one of the highlights of this year's Goodwood for me is this Pagani Zonda Cinque Rose, so number three of five, actually coming all the way over from Dubai for Festival of Speed, of course, as well. As you can see there, taking part in the Reduno as well. So most of these cars coming over for Festival of Speed on the way home, going from Italy, then to the UK, and then being shipped back to wherever they're going. And now this car, interestingly, comes from Dubai, and the owner actually stores this in his house, which is in a walled premises. So this car is actually craned in to the house every time it's taken home. This is absolutely amazing. Cinque standing for five, so there are five roadsters in the world, as well as five coupes. Now, I never thought I would see a Cinque in my life, and there's actually two here at Goodwood Festival for Speed, which just amazes me. Now, next to this, we have a Pagani Huayra Roadster. Now this one UK owned, owned by the same guy that owns the Zonda Oliver over there. Now the Huayra Roadster is a beautiful looking car, one of the newest cars from Pagani and this one featuring the blue accents against the white, sort of a satin white paint and I personally really do like the lights at the back. This is what sets it apart from the normal Huayra for me is this rear end, newly designed looking absolutely Amazing, the light design is perfect in my opinion. Really elegant compared to the standard Huayra. And then we've got a Zonda S sat next to a final Zonda S on the end. I really like this yellow one. The yellow really, really stands out. This one being a Roadster, whereas this one is a Coupe. Now, 
this collection of cars is absolutely phenomenal. I'll have a look at this looping all the way around the hotel, something I never in my life expected to see. Now, personally, I think it is very difficult to pick a favourite, but it's either between the Cinque over there or the Zonda Oliver up the top for me. Now, which one is your favourite? You'll have to let me know down below but this is a very difficult decision. There are some incredible cars here, but for me, probably my favorite, thinking about it, is the Cinque. Just such an amazing car that I never, ever thought I'd be able to see. incredible array of cars. An amazing lineup I never in my life expected to see, especially a Cinque in the UK. It has been so much fun seeing these cars throughout the duration of Festival of Speed. This is actually filmed after the third day and we've still got the last day of Festival of Speed tomorrow. So I really hope you have enjoyed all the videos from here at Goodwood Festival of Speed and also from, well, outside of the event as well. But anyway, I really hope you have gone on to enjoy today's video because I've really enjoyed filming it. Let me know down below what is your favorite Pagani out of that unbelievably strong lineup there. And also make sure to check out all the other content from Goodwood Festival of Speed because on top of those 10 Paganis there, we have also seen another 16 more. And I've been told that tomorrow there is a potential of seeing another one making it 27. But anyway, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.